Hey guys, it's Belle and I'm back with another YouTube short to talk with you guys briefly about some old Saxon glosses that I find particularly interesting. So now down here are the glosses to Prudentius's text Contra Simachum, which is like against Simachum, who I assume was some kind of theologian. And down at the bottom here, what's interesting is that we have some kind of fantastical creatures glossed in Old Saxon, which is always really interesting because we can see what terms they use to describe the monsters that are accounted in Roman myths. So here we have Kyoneas Nymphos, which means sort of uh, water nymphs or like blue nymphs. And the Old Saxon word here is given as water, which is normal enough. Uh, down here is a more interesting one. We have Dryadas, which the Old Saxon gives as Ekmagavi, which is probably like oak maidens, basically. But then this last one is the most fascinating to me, and it's so frustrating as well. So we have Napias, which honestly I don't know what those are in Latin. I've not come across this word before. But this is glossed in the Old Saxon as Berpuelas. And that's so interesting because... Berg is, of course, a Saxon word, meaning like mound or a hill, or sometimes a protective fortress, and then puelas being girls. But this is why I really wanted to find the manuscript which has it, because if this is like, you know, being given as a word separate to the puelas, that's one thing. But if it's written together as one word, that's like a compound word that... It's clearly being used in Old Saxon, right? Because it's probably been written between the lines in the same place that they're writing other things in Old Saxon. Um, but So they think of this word as a Saxon word, but they've got puelas there, which is not only Latin, but it's a sort of Latin form. I mean, you could have an, an S ending for plurals in certain noun cases in Old Saxon, but um, it's certainly being treated like a Latin word in terms of its declensions, uh, puelas having the same accusative plural ending as nafeas. And I just have so many questions about this, like, does the use of the uh, Latin word for girls, because bear in mind, just right before we've had the old Saxon word for girls in Magadi. So it's, it's not as if this poet, or the, sorry, this writer, this glossator who speaks old Saxon, it's not as if he doesn't know what the word for girl is, right? Um, so why is Puelas being used here? Is this some, like, does it have some extra meaning, like extra mythical, maybe more secretive kind of girl, uh, fantastical, fey kind of thing? Who knows? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Uh, bye.